What's up, friends? Um, back for another edition of Jaffe's Big Bites. So I am in San Marcos outside of a place called the Money Pit. And I've heard a lot about the Money Pit. It's another drive through kind of grease trap, diner type of place. I ordered four things. I got a patty melt, a Greek hot dog. I don't know what that is. A ham and cheese grilled cheese. And then, that's kind of weird to say it like that. A grilled ham and cheese sandwich. There you go. And then a chili cheese dog. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. So, okay, I think I grabbed the Greek dog first. Now, what they told me is inside of this thing is a hot dog, feta cheese, pepperoncini, and then some onions. And there were tomatoes on it, but I modified and just didn't get tomatoes because I think tomatoes make fruit soggy. So, yeah. Um, hot dog looks like it's... It's going to be one of those all beef types, so I'm expecting a good snap. Bun's a little bit soggy already. It's like falling apart right now. But yeah, let's see. Hot dog's good. Um, I will say right off the bat, my bias, I was not looking forward to feta cheese and pepperoncini on a hot dog okay and it's not because like i don't think that combination actually no it's not because i don't like feta cheese or pepperoncinis it's more just because you're talking about a ton of salt on more salt which is a hot dog and typically you want something a little bit more you know rich fatty to balance that that saltiness of the hot dog out so yeah bite number two that's a lot of feta cheese That's really interesting. I don't hate it. I also don't know if I would ever get it again. I, I like feta cheese. I like pepperoncinis. I like hot dogs. I like onions. I don't know if I would put them all together, you know? And maybe the tomato would have helped cut through that with a little bit more liquid, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I mean? Hopefully you know what I mean. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is what just happened. That's the chili cheese dog. This thing is going to just cause a gigantic mess. Look at this thing. Oh, my goodness. It's, like, steaming hot, too. Oh, this is going to be a mess. All right, here we go. Oh, jeez. Guess I'm doing laundry tonight. Hmm. Whoa, look at that gush gush and just chili goodness this is this is interesting that is good chili good hot dog that's just a lot Wow, like, yeah, yeah, I mean, here, just have a look at it. I don't know if, like, I'm just losing my head, though, because it's, it's an absolute just mess, an absolute mess. Look at this thing, but the chili's rich. Yeah, it doesn't taste like canned chili. It, it tastes like mixed or made chili from scratch. There's a good freshness to the um, the aromatics of the, the spices and whatnot. Yeah, no, that's good chili. I mean, it's a good chili cheese dog. It's just, that's a lot. Just how heavy that is, so. All right, moving on. Um, what do we got here? This is the patty melt. We got the patty melt. So, buttered toasted on rye bread. It is not cut. Interesting decision. It seems like they didn't toast the bread enough, too. It's about to... I don't know if you can see that. It's, like, flaking off the top here. Yeah. So, I, I feel like... Oh, no, it's it's cut. Never mind. It's just not cut all the way through. Oh, this is going to be a mess. There's your patty melt. Oh, look at that steam. You can't really see it, but this thing is piping hot.
American cheese. No, um, no fancy cheese. You know, you got your grilled onions on here. It's just straightforward diner patty melt. The beef, not bad, not bad. It kind of tastes like um, that frozen beef that you get at the supermarket, you know, at Costco and whatnot. Um, I know that it's not, but it, it's what it tastes like. It's like a, it's a more hearty cut. Like, a, it, it's not too lean, decent juiciness to it. Not bad, not bad. The cheese is definitely the hero of that sandwich. Though. The cheese and the buttered bread, yeah. Okay, last thing, here we go. We are moving on to the grilled ham and cheese. Oh, that is thick cut ham. I'm going to sound really weird when I say this. I prefer a ham and cheese sandwich that has like the thinner deli cut slice. Actually, that's thinner than I thought it was. You know, and not the ham steak. You know what that is? Ham steak? Hope you do. Okay, first bite, it's a lot of ham. That's a lot of ham. I like the ratio to be a little bit different, so we're gonna try just one slice of ham now. Oh, I made a mess. This is an absolute mess, oh gosh. Mm -hmm. That's the ratio. One ham, two cheese. One ham, two cheese is the ratio. For me. For me. Um, yeah. Yeah, like it's money pit, your standard, like I said, grease trap kind of diner. Um, definitely you need to know what you want going into there. Or sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me rephrase that. You need to come to that the agreement with yourself internally to go, I am eating a place called Money Pit that is literally a diner. It's a diner, it's a grease trap. You you know that you're not gonna get something too healthy from there. I love how they do something called um, the healthy wrap and then they do something else on their menu called the mess. I did not buy the mess because I got places to be tomorrow so I gotta make sure, you know, you know when you get messy food sometimes. Yeah, so um, I might get that next time. I'm gonna come back. I wanna try some of their breakfast stuff. That's the neat thing about this place. Full omelets. Um, yeah, yeah, the, excuse me, ooh, the money pit. It's already fighting me. I don't know what I'm going to finish. Probably the ham and cheese. Yeah. Till next time. Thanks, buds.